Guardrails along highways, like the Capitol Beltway, are meant as a safety barrier, but sometimes that trust can end tragically. It's like having an improvised explosive device on the side of the road rather than a safety product. Steve Eimers gained his ability to spot dangerous guardrails the tragic way after losing his daughter to a guardrail. My daughter was killed in Tennessee on November 1st, 2016, when a guardrail system speared through her car. We drove around the Beltway with Eimers using his expert eye. See, that one's damaged right there. To find so-called Frankenstein guardrail. Frankenstein, no, it's not Both. this one. Like parts from different people creating a dangerous monster. This is how the term Frankenstein guardrail got its name. This is a square peg in a round hole. Putting two different brands together of a guardrail and an end terminal is against federal guidelines. This is because the parts may not collapse as intended. These don't go together. Eimer's loss of his daughter does go together with the tragedy of the Alonzo family in Georgia. When Mark Alonzo spotted the freeway wreck of his 18-year-old daughter Isabella in 2020, he told our Atlanta sister station WXIA he knew something wasn't right. I drove by the, the wreck and I saw the guardrail and I saw her car and I didn't recognize her car. It was so mangled. The guardrail was sticking 10 feet up in the air. Instead of cushioning the crash, Isabella's doctors said the guardrail fatally separated her spine from her pelvis. They already told us that she wasn't going to make it. And I said, uh, do you see Jesus? And she shook her head. And I said, we'll go with Jesus and, and we'll see you soon. And that's it. this is it. Back on the Capitol Beltway. This rail here is supposed to collapse and move out of the way. Steve Eimer spotted three Frankenstein guardrails. So this is made by a company called RSI. This is made by Trinity. One on Old Colchester Road in Lorton, Virginia. This, if impacted, it could spear and kill somebody. This rail will go to right here. Another just south of the Walker Mill Road on-ramp. And it's gonna lock up. And another one near the Branch Avenue off-ramp on the way to Andrews Air Force Base. The Trinity ET Plus head with an SKT rail. All of this rail, it cannot go through. If we install it improperly, we're gonna kill people. We asked Maryland and Virginia's transportation departments what they are doing to examine and replace these dangerous guardrails. Both departments declined interviews. However, Maryland wrote us saying it is not aware of any crashes involving different brand guardrail and treatments, but out of abundance of caution, we have initiated a new round of inspections of end treatments statewide. My why is that I know somebody's life depends on my success getting these off the road outside. Video shot by Virginia's transportation department shows it replacing the Frankenstein guardrail we told them about. This after confirming two separate brands were used by a contractor. A VDOT spokesperson didn't commit to the same statewide inspection promise as Maryland, but said it is evaluating opportunities to identify any non-standard installation of guardrails. Driving around the Beltway. You've got to imagine it's your child that's going to hit it. Nathan Baca, WUSA 9.